coach what's going on welcome back to the channel and today we are going to talk about the idea of a athlete funnel now what in the world would be a athlete funnel um it's just like everything you see on the internet now with click funnels and funneling your um customers to a certain area we should be approaching our programming to basically funnel instead of down we're not thinking of a bottom funnel where we're driving from a broad perspective to a narrow purchase focus which is a purchase at the end whereas we're focusing on right now is actually starting at the bottom base level and funneling up and what we're doing is how i've done it here is i've talked about ltv well what is ltv ltv sorry stands for life time value okay what are you getting as the lifetime value and i talked with coach leo on this if you want to go back and go see our talk with me and coach leo we talked about this in a little bit and i mentioned it i just wanted to key in on it a little more so in general lifetime value right for your athlete funnel and this is for aquatics you can do this with any sport um start from the bottom work your way up to a certain level i just start with aquatics um, because i've been in aquatics my entire life and i know kind of how you need to bridge that gap to the next level what we do here is you have the lifetime value you want to be able to grab that athlete's attention and get them interested in aquatics as early as possible now you can you want the key to this is what is we need aquatic sports we need more swimmers okay not necessarily competitive swimmers that are going to swim at the olympics we need kids that have the ability to swim that's just simple math if you don't if the kid cannot swim they cannot swim competitively for you they cannot play water polo for you they cannot do synchronized or art artistic swimming for you they can't even be a diver if you're in diving, they can't dive for you. They have to dive off the diving board and then swim to the side. If they cannot swim, they will not be able to dive for you either. So all aquatic sports derive their athletes from a learn to swim perspective. So first off, we need to, I've got it, or my funnel here, okay? My funnel here would be aquatic sports need all, we need all need swimmers. We, first off, how do we sell this? Well. Go to any parent hey would you like your kid to be safe in the water and comfortable every parent should say yes so you're selling water safety you go from water safety okay and then you promote a learn to swim right because they need to learn how to swim to do this stuff then ideally you're progressing to some sort of swimming two days a week minimum i found that the kids need to be in the water once to twice a week regardless of age just to maintain their skills because the water is so different than things on land. So getting them two days a week to swim in some capacity, be in the water in some capacity is huge. Then after that, after all that's done, we should be transitioning them to our specific sport. Okay. Water polo, swim, swim, artistic swimming. Okay. Those types of things. Now, where do we start with that? Water safety can start, you know, if you really get good at it in your program, water safety can start at like two. Okay. Learn to swim can continue to like, I don't know, can get, if they do water safety stuff at two, they can learn to swim between three to four. Okay. And then they can get into swimming twice a week for 30 to 40 minutes, maybe even an hour if they're really into it like five to six, and then they can get into specifics at like seven, okay? So some other coach, when I was helping with my son's soft, uh, you know, t-ball team, said that kids can't even catch until they're seven. They can't even see the ball. So their coordination skills aren't even there yet. So in terms of other sports, increasing their coordination, seven is huge. But now look, look at your lifetime value. Two, that's right there. Two to seven is at least five years already. So that's five years they've been paying you, okay? If you're able to do a good job and retain these kids, right, you go from two to college, 18, right? So the lifetime value, lifetime value 
is 16 years of whatever you decide that it costs. That's huge. You times that by over, you know, <clears throat> certain number of athletes, you're going to lose some, obviously. Um, hopefully not too many, but you may lose some. But that's just an indication right there. You have 16 years of lifetime value. Other ideas that I thought I'd throw in there is you could split days in case so kids don't get worn out. Water polo two days a week, swim two days a week, artistic swimming two days a week, whatever it is, the sport that you do, diving two days a week. Um, if you only do one of these and not two or three things, if you're not part of one big club, okay, you could partner with another club nearby that uses the same pool, hopefully. You'd be like, hey, you come to the same location every single time for practice, but you come to coach Sean one time and you go to the other coach the other time. And so that is something that you can look at. If you want more information on how to do all this stuff, how to increase your sales numbers, how to boost your club, how to boost your retention, how to make this your job, okay? You should be contacting and texting me at the number in the description, or you can email me at the email in the description and I will do my best to help you. We need to get on a call and talk to each other about this stuff. I really appreciate your time and I hope you have a great day.